Hello, this is card five of five video haul responses on our holiday mini and today we're using the Sounding Joy. There's four stamps in this set and it's beautiful. We're making a round card, so I cut a round card base, a ring from a designer series paper, Holly Berry, and a ring and a circle uh, smaller than the base from Vellum. After the fact, I actually like this card better if that circle is not vellum, but actually a window sheet. But I'll talk to you about that later. You can use your circle cutter to make these any size that you'd like. Um, I have a four and three quarter inch base circle, and then the, the ring is, is four and one quarter, and then the, the round circle on the inside is three and three quarters. But you can do these any size and it will work with this card no matter what circle size you choose. I am first debossing the base front of the card. So I'm using the embossing folder, but I'm using it backwards so that the front of the card is debossed, not embossed. Um, this will give me flat dots on the front of the card and you'll see why we need that. And the ring of designer series paper, which is from Holly Berry, I'm actually embossing. So this one, I'm putting it face front. So if, the, if you see the Stamping Up logo, then you're embossing. If you don't see the Stamping Up logo when you run it through, then you're debossing. So just remember, face up with logo, emboss. Um, uh, face up without logo is a deboss. Okay, so... Once you've got that done, you can just put those on the side. And what we're going to start by doing is we're going to do some wet embossing. And that's why I did the dots debossed. So the dots are pushed out on the inside, but they're flat on the front of the card. And this is going to enable me to stamp my star with Versamark on the front of that card in the center, and then to um, wet emboss it or heat emboss it with the new pewter embossing powder. It's really beautiful. So just ink your stamp up with Versamark and then stamp that star dead center in your circle. So this is why it doesn't matter what circle you have. Um, as long as the star is dead center, you're going to be good. Don't push too hard because you'll get edges. Um, I might have pushed a little bit too hard, but it still turned out perfectly. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your powder and you're going to use the new pewter powder. I love the color of this. It's not at all like silver or gold. It's kind of like a brand new luxury hotel faucet, you know, really pretty color. So in order to keep things neat and to enable me to pour the powder back in the jar, I'm going to get a black sheet of paper um, and I'm going to fold that paper in half and put it under um, the stuff so that when I pour the powder on, the black sheet will catch the powder. So you pour it as many times as you need to make sure that the letters are completely coated. And then I paused, you didn't catch it, but I paused and I heat embossed this. Look how beautiful that color is. Again, it makes me think of a luxury hotel faucet, the color. It sparkles, it shines, and it's really, it's, it's, it's very luxurious. So then I pour the powder back in the jar. And this is why you can buy our embossing powders and they'll last you forever because you just keep reusing them. The only time you don't reuse them is when you mix them. And even then, sometimes you can reuse the mix. So now I take my round circle piece of vellum. Again, I had prepared this using my stamp on jig so that I could make sure I was stamping my sentiment dead center of the vellum. Um, I'm using stays on ink for stamping this sentiment and I really love it. You'll notice it has a mixed font. So it's got some script and some sans serif font in this in this sentiment so I love it. It's very ornamental and that's why I like it on the front of the card. Um, so I've used my stays on and my stamp a jig, my jig is just helping me keep it all on in the right place on the on the vellum. Then I stamp straight down. I mentioned that I use stays on ink. You want to use stays on, especially if you use the window sheets, which I think it would turn out even better with the window sheets. But I love it either way. Look at that font. Is that not beautiful? The font for the word king? Just, it's just so ornamental. 
So now we're going to actually um, adhere that to the front of the card. The reason I'm adhering it to the card as opposed to the loop is because I want to be able to see that pewter and the embossing on the base. So I need this vellum or window sheet to be very flat. Now you could use spray adhesive or uh, vellum adhesive if you want to. I chose to use mono glue and the reason is when I lay it down, because it's a liquid glue, it gives me some play time, which means that I can take my time and move it around a while before it actually um, is stuck for good. It gives me some freedom, whereas other types of adhesive, adhesives don't give me that, that freedom to move it after I lay it down. So I'm just making sure it's very flat and that there's no glue seeping out. And I'm gonna put that on the side to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to lift up this ring of designer series paper with some stamp on my jigs. I mean, not stamp on my jigs, excuse me, with some stamping dimensionals. And remember, you can cut these. Stamping dimensionals have six sides to them. So they're like, uh, I forgot, is that a hexagon? And it makes it really easy to turn them into whatever size or shape you want. So by cutting these in half, I ended up with a thin piece of stamping dimensional that would work well in this ring. Um, so don't hesitate to cut into your stamping dimensionals. Just cut them before you take them off of the sheet. In this case, because this is a ver this is a quarter of an inch thick, the ring is a quarter of an inch thick, what might be I wanted it to be half an inch, but I think I did it a little bit less than half an inch. So it's about a quarter of an inch thick and it's been embossed. So in that case, I put a lot of stamping dimensionals so that it would stay still on the card. Um, so if you didn't emboss or if you use cardstock instead of designer series paper, you might not have to put as many stamping dimensionals as I did. Now here, a lot of you would probably prefer either a vertical or a horizontal layout for these stripes. But I purposely, I'm kind of weird this way, I purposely tilted them because I like the, the variation. So it's kind of like an unexpected. If it was straight up and down or horizontal, it would be too expected for me. So that's why I tilt it. But if you like it straight up and down or horizontal, then just change that when you're making this card and make it the way you like it. Next, I'm going to use my felt embellishments again. So I went and got my glue gun. And I find that the glue gun is the best thing to use, especially if you're going to mail it, because that will not come off. When you use that hot glue, that hot glue dries, and you'd have to tear that paper to get that embellishment off. So it's great for mailing. Whereas if I wasn't mailing it far, if it, go, if it wasn't going by post office, I might just use some sticky tape or some mono glue for that as well. Now, the card's almost done, but let, let's pretty up the inside as well. So that ornamental sentiment that we use on the front is perfect for the front of a card, but also the same stamp set has a lovely text sentiment that I think works really well on the inside of the card. It says, rejoicing with you in the birth of Christ our Lord, our Lord and wishing you all the blessings of his love. I think that's a beautiful sentiment. So I'm putting that dead center of the inside of my card. And then, because we have the embossing on the top, I felt like we should use that area. And what do people like to send with their Christmas cards? Um, they like to send photos. Why not create a, a round photo just by using our punch, create a round photo for the inside front of that card. So now we're going to just punch out, and you can just go get any family photo, or maybe the new baby's photo, and then using your large punch, your large circle punch, punch out that perfect face or that perfect cropped image for the top center. And I think that just brings this all together and really makes it a holiday card. Love it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Soon I'll be back again and I'll be talking a lot about Simply Scored. So please come back and visit me again real soon. Thanks for everything. Bye-bye.